It was the most virulent, deadly viral outbreak the world had ever seen. When the affliction began to finally relent, two-thirds of the planet's population were gone. 4.2 billion people. What followed was a complete collapse of society as we knew it, and those that remained behind had to learn to survive in the wasteland of moral degradation. But even in the darkest of times, there are moments that ignite the spark of hope. <laughs> hey there, folks. Mind if we join in? Sure. Oh, hey, Abby. What's got you all laughing so hard? Matt here was telling us a few stories from when he was in basic training. I love those stories. You were such idiots. We really were. Just a bunch of testosterone-fueled mongoloids trying to one-up each other. I bet Jake had it rough. He was so scrawny in high school. You know, I thought he would, too. But he just kept pushing himself like he was trying to prove something to himself. Some of the guys love harassing him, though. Well, then I guess it was good you were there to watch his back. I mean, I bet no one wanted to mess with the guy who could lift a truck. Excuse me, who could lift a truck? Colin, haven't you heard about him brag about being able to lift a whole truck by himself? <laughs> what? No way. It does seem pretty far-fetched. No offense, Cohen. None taken. Okay, what kind of truck are we talking about here? Toyota, Chevy, Hot Wheels? Hey, back off my boy. He says he can lift a truck, then he can lift a truck. Can't you? You know, actually lift a truck? Yes, I actually lifted a truck. Okay, okay, I am officially calling bull. I know you were strong back in the day, and you look like you're still in decent shape, but come on. On, Matt. I swear to you, I've actually done it, and it wasn't a normal street-type truck. I'm talking a big troop transport style, a deuce and a half. There's no way, no way, you're full of it. I swear it's true. It happened when we were in basic. We were all sitting around bragging about how tough we thought we were, and then one of the guys said something pretty stupid. You all think I'm joking? No one thinks you're joking, Riggs, but I just gotta know. What color is the sky in your world? You're completely <laughs> delusional, Riggs. There's no way. No way. No one here believes that you're the strongest guy in the squad. <laughs> Riggs, you're the first one to start complaining when we're running up the hill with full rocks. <laughs> Shut it, Fox. Back off, Riggs, or his daddy will beat you up. Right, Cohen? Hey, Fox can fight his own battles. Then why are you always getting in our faces when we rag on him? Did none of you see the way that Fox wiped the floor with Flynn Garrett and me this afternoon? Boy's got some serious anger issues. I wouldn't be taunting him anymore if I were you. No, Joe. Whatever. You really think you're the strongest guy here? Absolutely. Willing to put your money where your mouth is? Oh, here we go again. What? I'm simply asking him to make a small financial investment in his self-described prowess of strength. If he's truly as strong as he claims, what's he got to worry about? You know what? I'll take that bet. I got 50 bucks right here that says Riggs is the strongest guy in here. Thank you, Davis. So we need to come up with a way to determine who's the strongest. Who's got suggestions? Test of strength? I'm pretty sure Fox just said that, Carpenter. Shut up. I've got it. Go to the gym and... Boring! You got a better idea? Oh, I got an idea. Follow me, boys. Okay, Davis, you got us in the motor pool. What's the big idea? Alrighty, boys. The bet is Riggs is the strongest guy here. So, Riggs... If you could lift that Humvee off the ground... Okay, that's stupid. He can't lift the whole thing. Actually, Carpenter, I think you're being stupid here. He's got to get the front end up. Wheels six inches or more off the ground. I got 100 bucks. Says he could do it. You're on. I'll take some of that action. Everyone in? Okay, Riggs. Go for it. Piece of cake. <laughs> He 
does it. Got, he's got it. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I can beat it. Dude, Cohen. No way. We got a challenger. Are you sure about this? Trust me, bro. I got this. Step up, Cohen. Show us what you got. <laughs> yeah, okay. Someone should get a stretcher for him. He's going to rip something, I'm sure of it. Step aside, ladies. Oh, son of a bitch. Holy crap. That's got rings beat by at least six inches. Yeah! Yeah! Who's the strongest? What? You smart-ass comments, Riggs? I think Cohen wins the pot. Nice job, brother. No, no, I want another shot. I'm okay with that. I'm in. I'm warmed up. I bet I can lift it higher. You're on. Now hold up, boys. Let's make this contest a little more challenging then. What say you try that? Ooh, yes. I like the way you think. You boys got any issue with lifting a deuce and a half? Let's do this. All righty. Same rules apply. You got to get it six inches off the ground. 200 bucks says he does it. I mean. No more bets. All righty. Moment of truth. Stand back. Dude. That was... What was that? All right, Cohen. You're up, my man. Don't let me down. Matt, come on, man. Are you sure about this? Buddy, worst case scenario, I don't lift it and become the butt of a few jokes. Oh, Cohen, that fork looks pretty heavy. You sure you can lift it? (laughs) Best case, we win a big chunk of cash for us to really enjoy our next leave. Trust me. I got this. All right. If you're sure. Stop worrying. Okay, gentlemen. If you'd be so kind as to give me some room here. Go, go, buddy, go. Push it. He's got it. Six inches. All right. Yeah. What did I tell you? Who's the man? I told you, Riggs. I told you I'm the strongest man in this unit. Nay, the universe! All right, give him his money. We gotta move. Curfew's in 15, boys. You heard the man. Let's move it, B Company. Brother, I'm so sorry. I should have never doubted you. For mercy. I mean, I can't believe you did that. You just became a legend here, you know? For mercy. And look at this. That's like 2,000 bucks, man. You got... What? <gasps> Infirmary. Did you just say infirmary? Infirmary. What do you need it? Oh, oh, buddy. Okay. Come on. Infirmary. I know. I know. We'll get you taken care of. You know, I did warn you, though. Infirmary. You're a freaking idiot. You know that. (laughs) It's been pointed out a time or two. So what'd you do with all that money? Look, the guy just told us he slipped a disc and gave himself a hernia, and you want to know what he did with the money? You got to admit, he pretty much paid for his stupidity. (laughs) He is not wrong. Those boys never let me forget how stupid I'd been. But Fox was right. I did become a legend. And for the record... Fox and I spent our leave in Cancun drinking and meeting more than our fair share of feminine companions. Oh, really? Hey, I cannot be held responsible for things that happened long before we met. He's right. It's not fair. So, have you tried lifting a truck since? Or have you just been living off that one time? No, I only needed to do it the one time. Mostly because I was told by my doctor that he wouldn't be able to help me if I tried again. And if you value your life, you won't try it again. Unless I'm under it. <laughs> you got it? Loud and clear, sweetheart. Because you know where I will put you if you even think about trying a stunt like that again. Infirmary? Good boy. Now you're catching on. 